Good afternoon. We thank Canner Thomas and Rabbi Klass and Rabbi Schindler and Patty Torsellini for a beautiful and meaningful and impactful afternoon Yom Kippur healing service. And now we make our way to Yisker and to Nila as we move towards the conclusion of Yom Kippur. When someone turns another year older, it is traditional in Judaism to say, Ad me'ab esrim, until 120 years. May you live until 120 years. Because the book of Genesis says that 120 years is a full life, and that is how long Moses lived in his life as well. We always long for ourselves and for our loved ones we always long for a long life. And then the high holy days come. And we're reminded that things are not actually in our hands. Life is such a profound mystery. We know that we cannot control our lives and we cannot control when we will die. We'd like to be here for another year. We'd like for our loved ones to be here too. And when our time here is complete, we'd like some part of us, some small contribution, some of our memory of our goodness to be eternal. And at Yisker, we remember the souls and the legacies of our loved ones and to shelter them for eternity. In the darkness, we ask God to be our light. In our loneliness, we ask God to help us find a soul akin to our own, to give us strength to live with courage, to draw blessings from life, even in the midst of suffering, to hold fast against the storm, and to smile at a loved one's glance. And so we pray. Eternal God, we ask for your help, for our need is great. Our days fly past in quick succession, and we cannot look back without regret or ahead without misgiving. We seek to understand the mystery of our lives, but our effort is in vain. And when suffering and death strike those we love, our faith all but fails us, and we forget that we are your children. God, help us now to feel your presence when our weaknesses and the storms of life hide you from our sight, help us to know that you are with us still. Uphold us with the comfort of your love. Don't hide. 
hide your face from me. I'm asking for your help. I call to you, please hear my prayers, O oh God. If you would answer me as I have called to you, please heal me now. Don't hide your face from me. Don't hide your face from me. I'm asking for your help. I call to you. At birth, a miracle. You light the spark in every human soul. Emerging into light, we breathe it in, the nishama, your sacred gift of life. And every day, every breath comes to us as a miracle. The light within us, unique and precious, is with us always while we live. When breath has ceased and life has gone, the nishama returns to you. And the spark that lived inside the ones we love unique and precious, beautiful and good, is theirs no more. Their light is ours, their radiance now burns in us, eternal flame of memory. So we light candles to keep our love alive, to bring their light into the world, a light unique and precious, ours to treasure while we live, a ne'er tamid that lights our days and gives us strength to journey through the nights. Yeah, I know. 
Our angels spend much of their time sleeping. In their dreams, they tear down the new homes by the sea and build old ones in their place. No matter how long they may sleep, 100, 200 years, 10 centuries is not too much. The first to wake up takes the torch that has been handed down, adds a drop of oil to the lamp, blesses the eternal light, and then recalls the name of every other angel. And one by one, as they are remembered, they wake up. For them, as for us, there is nothing more beautiful than memory. Adonai is my shepherd, I shall not want. God makes me to lie down in green pastures. God leads me beside the still waters. God restores my soul. Yeah. A few summers ago, I took an online DNA test through a genealogy website, and the results confirmed what I knew about both sides of my family. There were no surprises about the regions of my parents, my grandparents, those who came before them. The percentages all made sense based on the information that I had always been told about my own personal ancestors. What was more surprising to me was how easy it was to hook into the genealogical research that others in my extended family had already done. Cousins on the Jewish side had a lot figured out already for three or four generations, which I think is pretty significant given the fact that these relatives were were immigrating from Eastern Europe to this country um, only in the past 150 years. On my non-Jewish side, however, the part that is entirely English and Welsh, the Thomas side, people were able to connect the dots back 10 generations, 10. I could easily and readily see when members of certain lines came to this country what regions they were associated with in Wales, and even what historical figures 
they might have had contact with. It was stunning. In August, I came across a meme on Facebook that was entitled Ancestral Mathematics. It read, in order to be born, you needed two parents, four grandparents, eight great-grandparents, 16 second great-grandparents, 32 third great-grandparents, all the way up generation upon generation to 2,048 ninth great-grandparents. For you to be born today from 12 previous generations, you needed a total of 2,094 ancestors over just the last 400 years. Consider these individuals. How many struggles, how many challenges, how much sadness or joy or hope or love or courage had to exist for you to be born. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu vimoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak velohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Velohe Lea. Blessed are you, Adonai, the Amidah begins. God of our forefathers and foremothers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, God of Sarah, God of Rebecca, God of Rachel, God of Leah. Each time we pray these words, we are reminded that the God who is with each of us was also beside and inside of our ancestors. Judaism provides us a telescope into the distant past to remind us that we are collectively and as individuals a part of the story of humanity moving through time. Our textual tradition gives us ample reminders that we are obligated to ensure that children learn the lessons of our people. An easy reminder that is included in our liturgy is Deuteronomy 6-7, found in the Ve'ahavta. You shall teach them the mitzvot diligently to your children. The implication in all of this is that if both God and ancestors existed in the past, then God and descendants will exist in the future. Jewish tradition gives us the image of Shalshelet HaKabalah, the chain of received tradition, passed from generation to generation to generation. We are positioned in an unbroken chain of human life, inheriting and imparting all types of things, thought, culture, genetics, trauma, tradition. Jewish practice is set up in a way to remind us of this greater story. Link after link exists, but can only be forged through the miracles of birth, life, and death. We are born, we live, and we die. Each life, no matter how brief, a brilliant, shining circle in existence tied inextricably to those who came before and those who will come after and those we encounter along the way. It's a beautiful picture, silver chains of souls moving through time, a sort of interconnected chain mail of lives, a natural order of beginning and ending, we each have 2,048 ninth great-grandparents. They ate breakfast, they went to bed each night just as we do. 
They each lived and died, and we only live because they did. I wonder about those breakfasts 400 years ago. And no, I did not say break fast, although that's coming soon enough. We're almost there. But the breakfasts, the daily nourishment that our ancestors took in, having traversed the darkness of night. We will never know what they ate for breakfast, their preferences, what their kitchens smelled like. They are the far distant past, honored, acknowledged, remembered, and considered so that we might have a glimpse of our place in eternity. Yet there are ancestors whose breakfasts we know and whose kitchens we can still smell if we close our eyes and allow ourselves to be silent and still long enough for the wisps of the past to surface in our memory. Whose kitchen would you sit in if you could just one more time? Whose table would you sit at and what would you talk about what would they eat for breakfast on a Tuesday or on a holiday or if someone special was visiting? Maybe it isn't breakfast. Maybe it was a class or a lesson or a basketball game or a company party or a movie. Where would you be and how would you feel? What would you smell and what would you taste if you were with them? Just one more time. Yee's core, remember. Remember what it was like to be in their presence. All of the parts of the memory, the good parts and the hard parts, the sad parts and the parts that make you feel the most tremendous sense of who you are. Remember them all, your people who have gone, your people who have become your ancestors. Your link in the chain of tradition is as it is because of them. You are who you are because of breakfasts and stories and walks and books and conversation. You are who you are because they were who they were. Yom Kippur calls us each year to live with the knowledge that we will become ancestors. One day, we will be ninth great-grandparents or great-grand-teachers or great-grand-aunts or uncles. Sooner than that, we will become the memories of those we love most dearly. And on this day each year, we are called to choose life and to choose inscription in the book of life well lived, filled with experiences shared, filled with kindness, generosity, presence, and filled with breakfasts, that we may each fill the pots of memory of those who live alongside us and will go on after us when each of us inevitably becomes an ancestor. But for now, for just a moment, before we return to the business of living life, let us sit with their memories. Let us sit at their tables and share a meal again in our hearts, in our minds, and in the places of our soul where we know they still reside. 
we take this time for silent memory. In the rising of the sun and its going down, we remember them. In the blowing of the wind and the chill of winter, we remember them. In the opening of buds and the rebirth of spring, we remember them. In the blueness of the sky and in the warmth of summer, we remember them. In the rustling of leaves and the beauty of autumn, we remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength, we remember them. When we are lost and sick at heart, we remember them. When we have joys we yearn to share, we remember them. So long as we live, they too shall live, for they are now a part of us as we remember them. We take a few moments for silent remembrance. Our loved ones live on in our hearts. And at times, that brings us some measure of healing. Their acts of kindness and generosity are the inheritance that they leave behind. We feel their absence, but the beauty of their lives abides among us. As it is said, the name of one who has died shall not disappear. Our loved ones' names and their memories will endure among us. And these are the names on our lips and our hearts, those family members of loved ones in our community who died since this last Yom Kippur. Eric Aiello, Judy Biber, Rosa Biller, Daniel Brigman, Howard Burton, Rinky Cardoza, Susan Chernak Spatz, Rose Cohen, Sydney Cohen, Gloria Coleman, Marie Cox, Walter Cosby, excuse me, Walter Crosby, Thomas Curry, Anna DiLapito, John Dickin Drew, Herbert Dunn, Jack Dutton, Paul Ellenbogen, Harriet Epstein, Clive Franklin, Leah Gelber, Dave Gilmartin, Gloria Mado Glazer, Kenneth Goldberg, Stuart Gottesfeld, Estelle Gottesfeld, Robert Greenblatt, Gertrude Gurevich, William Francis Haggerty, Jean Hill, Henry Hirschman, Bruce Jacobowitz, Stephen Jacobs, Ben Jaffa Sr., Shirley Kamenitz, Louis Kaufman, Myron Kaufman, Terence Kendrick, Ira Kissenberg, Carol Klein, Shirley Knopf Miller, William Monroe Knott III, Bernice Bunny Kranz, Stephen Edward Crydell, 
Arkady Kurgan, Ellen Arden Lawson, Barbara Leaf, Libby Levinson, Charles Levinson, Robert Lids, Martin Leonard Lipson, Bennett Lyons, Rhoda Manton, Leona Markowitz, Barry Marshall, Walter Marks, Roger Myers, Dorothy Miles, Shirley Perlman Mittler, Ida Manches, Michael Morris, Arthur Nathan, Robert Michael Newman, Dale Robert Noland, Edwin Nikeel, Robert Patterson, Rosalie Popper, Stanley Oranger, John William Bill Quinn, Emma Laura Reese Quinn, Joseph Raff, Ronnie Rich, Arnold Rosenfeld, Ben Rosker, Benjamin Harold Rosker, Ruben Salant, Elias Bitar Samahan, Sheila Samet, Francis Sanford, Sigrid Stoyer Schottvit, Carl Shear, William Schwartz, Mildred Millie Seidler, Millard Selden, Abraham Shapiro, Pierce Slutsky, James Smith, Carol Solomon, Wallace Starr, Leah Strauss, Julius Strauss, Sarah Levy Strauss, Paul Townsend, Stanley Wahlberg, Patsy Watson, Hadley Wallace Watson, Lucille Weiler, Jacob Weisberg, Mary Lucille Ellers Webke, Susan Rose Wolkowski, Leon Zimmer. I invite you to please rise with the words of El Malay Rachamim. God, God most high, let there be perfect rest for the souls of our loved ones who have gone into eternity. May they find shelter in your presence among the holy and pure, whose light shines like the radiance of heaven. Compassionate God, hold them close to you forever. May their souls be bound up in the bond of life eternal. May they find a home in you, and may they rest in peace. Together we say, Amen. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died in this season and years past, and we think of those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, and those whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. And we remember them. We affirm the gifts of their lives. We express our love and our support to their families. We express our respect for the generations whose lives gave light to our lives. Zichronam Livracha. 
May all of their memories be for a blessing. We rise with the words of Kaddish Shatom, the mourner's Kaddish. Yitzkadal va Yitzkadash Shemei Rabbah, Be'almadi vrach irute v'amlich malchute, V'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chaye d'chol Beit Yisrael, Ba'agala uv'izman kari v'imru. Amen. Yehe Shemei Rabbah mevarach le'alam ulamei lamaya, Yit barach v'yish tabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit ramam v'yit nasei, V'yit hadar v'yit hale v'yit halal Shemei d'kudesha b'richu, Le'ela ula'ela mikol b'rchata v'shirata, Tush b'chata v'nechemata, Da'amiram be'alma v'imru. Amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'mromav, hu ya'ase shalom, aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael, v'imru, amen. Ose shalom Please be seated. It is never too late to change my mind, my direction, to say no to the past and yes to the future, to offer remorse, to ask and give forgiveness. It is never too late to start over again, to feel again, to love again, to hope again. It is never too late to overcome despair, to turn sorrow into resolve and pain into purpose. The last word has not been spoken. The last sentence has not been written. The final verdict is not in. It is never too late to alter my world, not by magic incantations or manipulations of the cards or deciphering the stars but by opening myself to the curative forces buried within, to hidden energies, the power of my interior self. Yit kadal ve'yit kadash Oh! 
again the day rolls into darkness. The sky spills its pinks and purples, draining to blackness. Deep inside, there is a closing, a small gate swinging shut in the mind. Those few last thoughts rush through, and a life is sealed. Outside the temple, a lone bird sounds its call, waits for response. Creator, God of awe, God sublime, whose deeds are true, have compassion, grant us pardon as we enter Neila. Taking small steps into the new year, I have come upon a blue lake in my heart, the stillest of waters in this dense word forest of prayer. And like a stand of old growth, the towers of the last Amida rise toward the unnameable. Please rise. Adonai Svatai Tiftach Ufi Yagid Techa. Baruch Ata Adonai Elohenu Velohe Avotenu Viimotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak Velohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Velohe Leah Hael Hagadol Hagibor Vahanora El Elyon Gomel chasadim tovim vekone hakol. Zoher chasde avot vi imahot. 
Ume vi geula liv nevene hem, lemaan shemo beahava. life-giving power is forever, Adonai, with us in life and in death. You liberate and save, cause dew to descend, and with mercy abundant, lovingly nurture all life. From life to death, you are the force that flows without end. You support the falling, heal the sick, free the imprisoned and confined, you are faithful, even to those who rest in the dust. Power beyond power, from whom salvation springs, sovereign over life and death, who is like you? Merciful God who compares with you. With tender compassion, you remember all creatures for life. Faithful and true, worthy of our trust, you sustain our immortal yearnings. In you we place our undying hopes. Baruch ata Adonai, Mechaye Hakol, wellspring of blessing, power eternal, you are the one who gives and renews all life. We take a moment for silence. God of goodness, mercy, and hope, we are grateful for your gifts of love and compassion. Seal us today for a life of integrity, lived in covenant with you. God of peace, grant us peace, your most precious gift. You have given us freedom to choose between good and evil, life and death. May we choose life and good, that our children may inherit from us the blessing of peace. May we and the whole family of Israel be remembered and sealed in the book of life. Blessed is forgiveness and blessed are goodness, mercy, and love. 
Blessed is the nearness of divine presence, and blessed is the hope for peace. Baruch Ata Adonai, O Seha Shalom. You are the Blessed One, the Eternal One, the source of peace. Open a gate for us when the gates are being closed, for the day is about to fade. The day shall end, the sun shall set. Let us enter your gates. 
Holy One, we pray, please be patient. Please pardon and forgive. Please show compassion. Please lead us to atonement and help us, please help us to conquer injustice and triumph over sin. Adonai, Adonai, El Rachum Vechanu, El Rachum Vechanu. Extend your hand. I come before you, accept my return. All the harm I have done, forgive. The deeds I regret, please pardon. Turn, my beloved, to the goodness of those who seek you, who long for you like the rays of dawn. You, Adonai, you are our encouragement. You are our safety. in order to make one final confession on this day of Yom Kippur. We stand as a community, our confessions offered as we. For we know that we do not sin alone. We know that true repentance and change requires help and accountability. For this final vidu, we offer the words of our own lips, the sins we ourselves have committed this year and been brave enough to share. Forgive us, O God, for the sins we have committed before you by acting vindictively rather than seeking a resolution, by being unkind and uncaring to the people we love the most and to strangers alike. 
by causing others to feel shame or embarrassment, by rushing to judgment without considering the full picture. For these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, lead us to atonement. Forgive us, O God, for the sins we have committed before you by taking our relationships for granted and not giving them the time they deserve, by being dishonest with ourselves and our partners, by staying in relationships which needed to end, by not truly listening to the words of our loved ones. For these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, lead us to atonement. Forgive us, O God, for the sins we have committed before you by allowing ourselves to be lured by distractions and not using our time well, by being content with mediocrity and being academically lazy, by ignoring deadlines and giving in to procrastination, by not living our values through our work. For these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, lead us to atonement. Forgive us, O God, for the sins we have committed before you by comparing our bodies to unattainable standards, by using food to an excess in order to soothe the stress of quarantine, by not accepting help even when it was offered, by imposing our opinions and needs on others. For these failures of judgment and will, God of forgiveness, forgive us, pardon us, lead us to atonement. Eternal God, you hold out your hand to those who do wrong. It is open wide to receive those who return. You teach us the true purpose of confession, to turn our hands into instruments of good, to cause no harm or oppression. Receive us as you promised, in the fullness of our heartfelt tshuva. Please rise for Avino Malkenu. Avino Malkenu, Kabel Berachamim Uvratson et Tefilatenu. Avino Malkenu, Almighty and Merciful, welcome our prayer with love, accept and embrace it. Avinu Malkenu Ase Lemaan Rahamecha Harabim. Avinu Malkenu act for the sake of your boundless compassion. Avinu Malkenu Ase Imanu Lemaan Shemecha. Avinu Malkenu act toward us as befits your name. Avinu Malkenu Chotmenu Besefer Panasa the Chalkala. Avinu Malkenu seal us in the book of sustenance and livelihood. Avinu Malkenu Chotmenu Besefer Zuchyot. Avinu Malkenu, seal us in the book of worthiness and merit. Avinu Malkenu, chotmenu besefer selicha umechila. Avinu Malkenu, seal us for the book of forgiveness and pardon. Avinu Malkenu, chotmenu besefer chayim tovim. Avinu Malkenu, seal us for the book of lives well lived. Avinu Malkenu, chotmenu besefer geula vishua. Avinu Malkenu, seal us for the book of redemption and renewal. Avinu Malkenu Male Yaldenu Mibirchotecha. Avinu Malkenu, let our hands overflow with your blessings. 
Avinu malkenu patach sha'are shemaim li tefilatenu. Avinu malkenu let the gates of heaven be open to our prayer. Avinu malkenu chadesh alenu shana tova. Avinu malkenu renew us for a year of goodness. Avinu malkenu ein lanu melech ela arta. Avinu malkenu we have no sovereign but you. Avinu malkenu chonenu ve'anenu ki ein banu ma'asim. Ase imanu tzraka v'chesed v'hoshienu. Avinu malkenu, almighty and merciful, answer us with grace when our deeds are wanting. Save us through acts of justice and love. Avinu malkenu, avinu malkenu, avinu malkenu, choneinu vanenu, ki ein banu masim, ase. To live life in all its fullness is to stand in awe before an open gate. To gaze into a doorway of hope, a wondrous portal of possibilities. Many are the gates of our lives. Many are the treasures toward which they lead. And how many close behind us, lost, forgotten, and sealed forever, how many gates, how many years. Standing in awe before the gates of a new year, we see its most precious gift, minutes and hours, the days and the weeks, the treasure house of time. Every moment is a vessel of infinite holiness. Every morning, noon, and night is a gateway to life's immensity. How, how will we use this precious gift? As the Sabbath of Sabbath ends, we say from the heart, Living Source, you are ours and we are yours. From beyond time and space, you hold out your hand to receive us. Living Source, you are ours and we are yours. 
You are the sovereign of remembrance, the voice of holiness. Your presence lights the way. Living source, you are ours, we are yours. Shema Yisrael, hear the shofar, witness to history, thunder to our souls. Living source, you are ours, we are yours. Happy are those who love the sound of the shofar, its mystic chords of memory. Living source, you are ours, we are yours. Hear the shofar, hear its cry of freedom, its call of courage. Cherish its promise of hope. thank you. I want to thank you and all of you who have been sending in photos and notes of gratitude, and thank you for being with us throughout Yom Kippur. And thank you to our staff, to our lay leaders, and to our production crew. You have been phenomenal. Thank you. And I want to thank my clergy colleagues, Cantor Thomas and Rabbi Klass and Rabbi Nichols and Rabbi Schindler. Thank you for making these High Holy Days so meaningful for our community. There's still an, a last opportunity to donate to the Liberty High Holiday Hunger Drive. We've collected, as far as I know today, uh, about $12,500, and, um, and about that, that equates to 87,000 pounds of food, which is incredible. 
uh, you can still find the link at the gateway uh, last few moments to be able to donate for the High Holy Day Hunger Relief Drive. Again, as we've been saying at every service, please remember to vote. Please participate as we become a 100% voting congregation. Every voice and every vote counts. And a final reminder that our High Holy Days are going to continue in October. Check out the gateway for all the ways that you can celebrate Sukkot and Simchat Torah. We have an awesome Nefesh Mountain concert, uh, with a, which is a great opportunity. Invite your friends. Invite anyone who wants to come to the concert to come to the concert. It's an they're amazing bluegrass band. Uh, and uh, if you want to create opportunities for to dwell in the sukkah here at Temple Bethel, uh, you can uh, log in and sign up to do so. We're excited. We're excited to continue this High Holy Day season with you. And finally, there will be a, a concluding. Uh, Havdalah at 7 p.m. Uh, on Facebook Live. But for those of you who are with us today, we're going to invite Rabbi Nichols to come forward to lead us in Havdalah. And we turn to Havdalah, separating this sacred day from the rest of the week and the year. Lie, <laughs> A good year, a year of peace. May gladness reign and joy increase. A good year, a year of peace. May gladness reign and joy increase. Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hatishbi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Hagiladi. Bimhera veyamenu, Yahavo elenu. Imashiach ben David, Imashiach ben David. Eliyahu hanavi, Eliyahu hatishbi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu. 
Yahu Hagiladi. Shana Tova, Gamar Chatima Tova. We hope that you have a sweet new year and may you be sealed in the book of a good life. Amen. Amen. Shana Tova. Shana Tova.